do you so if you want to go create for your virtual machine as per our configuration maximum how many servers we needed esx servers 500 Uh, 500 is the virtual machine, but ESX box to maintain the 500 virtual machines. How many ESX servers are needed? One is enough. Huh? Only one. Only one ESX box. But in the real time scenario, uh, there are a different type of configuration. Even you, let's go back to the same example. Uh, if I go back to the configuration maximum, even each ESX box, how much CPU it will support means they clearly mentioned here. Virtual CPU per host 4096. Uh, even the disk size maximum 2 TB. There is a some limitation how much memory it supports each host. But uh, if you talk really in the real time environment, no one will purchase this much high configuration box. They will not configure 1000 VMs on a single box. Let's say roughly if they created a 50 VMs or 10 VMs on single host. How many servers we needed? Let's say we created 10 VMs on single host. So for 500 virtual machine, how many ESX we needed? 50. 50 multiplied 10 equal to 500, right? So what is the difference here? 10 virtual machines we created on individual host. So one host supporting for 10 vms roughly so 50 hosts instead of purchasing 500 physical servers we are purchasing only 50 boxes so what is my benefit here what is my investment here suppose if i configure if i purchasing 50 boxes but they are 50 boxes cost instead of 1 lakh i purchase a high configuration box let's talk about 50 into 2 uh, what is my budget 50 into 2 means just 1 crore investment so what is my saving here 4 crores are saved 4 crores, crores save uh, that 4 crores financially we are having a benefit financial wise benefit so let's say i am just writing here financial benefit okay is there any another benefit financial benefit wise one benefit how about uh, earlier we saw the data center space see they they purchase this much of land to maintain the multiple servers if when your server count is reduced from 500 to 50 that means almost 450 servers count is reduced do you still require this much uh, sp- square feet of land no so that means the data center space also reduced whatever the square yards you are using all the square yards no need to use the data center space is completely reduced and how about suppose uh, we 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 discussed about financial base for data center space and uh, how about the electricity let's say the power bill earlier the power bill is for 500 servers if your server count reduced to 50 the power bill 450 servers power bill is saved so this power bill we call it as annual maintenance cost it's not only for monthly monthly bill we are paying for every year every month every year we are paying so in short form we call it as amc amc means annual maintenance cost maintenance means this power ac these and all considered as a maintenance even for our olden days if you remember our desktops we used to maintain a upc upc means uninterrupted power supply ups uninterrupted power supply same way in our data centers also not only the server infrastructure data space if you see in the outside there is a separate power units this and all consists of ups also uninterrupted power supplies whenever if there is any public power supply shortage suppose uh, uh, we are getting power from the government power only if the government power at any cost if there is any interruption will you consider the servers also should down during the power cut we will we won't agree when the power cut right so to cover that power supply we need to maintain the ups also ups means uninterrupted power supplies it's a very big size for the servers those power supply equipments also whatever the equipments you are using for 500 servers when your count is reduced to 50 all the equipment size is reduced no need to you maintain hundreds of upss your power equipment size also reduced and even 
in our 70 workstation we used to to communicate the all the network device and all we need here some switches if you observe a, any of the internet center in our internet center normally they maintain 5 to 10 system to connect all this 10 system they maintain one switch to connect all this 10 system for 10 systems they are maintaining one switch means if you have a 500 servers how many switches we need to buy we need a roughly 50 to 100 switches they need to maintain all these physical switches count also reduced when whenever your server count reduced this is all the additional benefits our network equipment will be reduced so this much benefits are have when we go for a virtualization when we go for a vmware why vmware and why we need a virtual machine means these all the main key benefits is this points clear why we are learning vmware means this is a purpose how why it's uh, this much popular also this is the main reasons for better hardware utilization financial benefits and data center space reduce annual maintenance costs ups network equipment even the storage devices also if you have a storage devices uh, earlier to, we we need a storage devices for 500 servers if you have 50 the storage devices count also reduced like uh, suppose in our home system if you are maintaining one laptop or one desktop uh, to maintain your all your previous data we are buying a external hard disk Likewise, in companies also, they will not buy external hard disk. They will have a storage devices, official storage device. Uh, if you type in the Google, you will find the sample how the sandbox looks like. Let's say if you type SAN, SAN means storage area network. If you type SAN in the Google, go to the images, you will find how the sandboxes looks like. See, sandbox are looks like this. Uh, let me see the image. See, if you see these images, this sandbox also looks like a server, but this all consists of disks only. See, these all disks only. There is no CPU memory. It maintain only data. Likewise, they maintain the so much data. Okay, so the sandbox count also reduced. These are all the benefits why we need a virtualization, why we need to create a virtual machine, why we go for a VMware. If you do not have these benefits, why the companies will start using VMware? There is a, some purpose and benefits. That is the reason virtualization is popular nowadays. And not only virtualization, uh, this virtualization, whatever we discussed until now, is call it as server virtualization. We call it as server virtualization. Instead of using physical server, now you tell me uh, if you need a 500 servers, will you recommend to use physical 50 physical servers or uh, 50 virtual machines? Which is uh, your recommendation? 50 virtual machines. So if we use 50 virtual machine, even this is also one of the interview question. They may ask why we need virtual. Same way they will ask or what is the benefit of using vmware virtualization they will ask simple question like that you can say the examples like this if you are using vmware virtualization we will get the better hardware utilization uh, there will be a financial benefit for the data center space annual maintenance costs and all the power equipment ups network storage every infrastructure total infrastructure cost will be reduced total infrastructure cost in short form we call it as tic total infrastructure cost will be reduced this point also we can highlight is it point clear? Yes, sir. So now I'm going to the one more level deep. One more level deep. I will open a one slide. Yeah, this is the they mention as IT problems in scope or we can call it as infrastructure challenges. In, even in the interview, they will ask what is the major challenges VMware addressed? These are all the some of the infrastructure challenges. Suppose uh, let's talk about first point. High capex for dedicated infrastructure. High capex. Capex means capital expenditure for dedicated infrastructure. This is one of the important word. You can just remember. Uh, capex means capital expenditure. Like suppose, uh, suppose if you are buying a one laptop, one personal laptop. If you are buying, uh, if you see the uh, processor models, i3, i5, i7 models, or if you are going for a Mac, Mac also there is a ARM processor is the latest one. While purchasing your laptop, your home personal use laptop itself, what we are thinking, we think like a, which is the best configuration, which brand is better, and uh, which one have a more warranty. This and all will verify, then only we invest uh, 30,000 or 50,000 on a laptop. 
that is nothing but yeah, our investment same way companies also if they are starting one project uh, during the initial stage itself they will identify how many servers are we needed for this new project suppose my project is now we started my organization in yeah, delhi and now we are planning to implement our organization in yeah, pune pune we are going to start a new branch based on our current experience on delhi we are going to start invest the same server same kind of setup on yeah, pune branch while we are investing we need to think about our capex capital expenditure how much we need needed to invest the second branch that is called high capex if we if we do not have vmware virtualization what is our challenge we need to invest a high capital expenditure for all the physical infrastructure data center space physical switches physical storage and the space everything is total infrastructure cost will be very high suppose if you think about virtualization we no need to invest that much high capex we can use a less with the less amount we can maintain our data center that is the first two point but uh, this technical point will we can use in interview scenario but the basic example i hope everyone understand what is the benefit of vmware virtualization and the second one single point of failure single point of failure means suppose uh, the, let's uh, see the same example i have a 500 uh, 500 servers in my organization within this 500 servers if one server is down definitely there will be impact to my production that single point of failure is nothing but a server downs or uh, if you have a complete data center down that is also considered as a single point of failure but during that time also vmware giving a some advanced features using that features we the all the virtual machine will run uninterruptedly uh, technically we can call it that feature is called high availability high availability is one of the vmware feature the name itself says high availability the purpose of high availability is continuous availability for virtual machine if you enable that high availability feature even though your es access hour is down there is no impact to your virtual machine all virtual machines will migrate and restart on another es access hour with minimal downtime so that is also another benefit given by vmware and the third point long wait time for hardware purchases suppose uh, laptops and all we will just go, go to the any of the store any of the showroom authorized dealer showroom we will buy the laptop but when comes to the servers it will not deliver a server if you want to buy a uh, for my new branch i need a 100 servers you can if you order a 100 servers normally they will take 3 to 6 months to deliver the 100 servers suppose if you have a high configuration one esxa box how many vms we can create so the long wait time also reduced if you are using a vmware if you need a one virtual machine we can create it very quickly suppose if you need a one physical server even for one server also we have to wait minimally one month to deliver that server to our data center suppose if you need a one virtual machine we can create in a minutes just now we had, we noticed a workstation how long we create one vm within less than one hour i created and i installed the os the same way if i want to purchase a laptop or if you want to buy a server at least we need to spend some time to deliver the server to our data center so that is a the point they explained here long wait time for the hardware purchases and another point unexpected infrastructure outages even if you are unexpected infrastructure outage means infrastructure outage could be a either a power cut or any of the acs all suppose in my data center acs are not working that is also considered as infrastructure outage or my infrastructure ups is not working even in this scenarios also we if you have a virtualization there is a, some advanced features to address those infrastructure outages and the performance bottleneck earlier we mentioned one point is for better hardware utilization that point we can tell in another another words that is called performance bottleneck performance means its performance is nothing but a cpu performance memory disk anything we can utilize better in the vmware virtualization but before vmware virtualization all performance have a bottleneck bottleneck means there is a some lacking of resource we are not uh, using resource fully all the resource will be under utilized before vmware and the last point not enough data center resources or space so we know we no need to talk about a data center space data center space also reduced this is the previous before vmware challenges all these challenges are addressed by vmware 
so if you address this many challenges this much the cost is saving means everyone every customer really interested to move to vmware virtualization product so this is the basic overview uh, and actually we today we need to cover the windows os installation and active directory uh, are you okay to continue or will will plan for some other day it seems uh, maybe you you need some time to refresh all these things shivangani prasanna pallavi Shivangani is that okay can we extend or we can take some more day mm -hmm. we can continue later sir can continue later okay prasanna will continue okay fine and uh, uh, only the windows os installation you can just uh, try to install in your home pc uh, install the vmware workstation and uh, mount the iso file and install at least do this lab and next lab will continue the active directory configuration Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Okay. Fine. We can meet next session. Okay. Okay. Uh, just do that uh, workstation and voice installation lab. We'll continue next time.